as you know, there's this whole battle about Liz Cheney. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of rem- it is kind of astounding to see the mainstream media, all these leftists and Democrats love Liz Cheney now. All that matters to the left is if you hate Donald Trump. You can call the Cheneys war criminals, Nazis, horrible things, the things they said about her dad and her, for that matter. You can go down a laundry list of, of criticisms of Liz Cheney. But as soon as she decides to come out swinging and swinging and swinging against Trump and Trump supporters, she is okay by me. She is, she is, she is living large. She's our kind of gal. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, pretty astounding. It's kind of, it's, uh, I think somebody called it on uh, Fox News the other day, head snapping, head snapping to see all of the uh, the lefties turn into Liz Cheney fans. CNN, uh, CNN's Poppy Harlow said, she's standing tall. <laughs> she's standing, they, they don't want her to be silenced. They don't want to be silenced. Um, anyway, here, here's Senator Lindsey. <laughs> That's classic. Uh, you're not falling for it, are you? Promise me you're not falling for it. I got to believe that Americans are dumb enough to fall for all this fawning and all of this uh, salivating over Liz Cheney all of a sudden. Believe me, they don't like Liz Cheney any more than they like you and me. But they are they're going to use her as uh, you know, a weapon to try to, and they're panicked. They're really panicked because the pushback against Liz Cheney reminds the CNNs of the world that the 75 plus million Americans who supported and support Donald Trump aren't going anywhere, but they want us to sort of go away. Here's Lindsey Graham yesterday or last night on Sean Hannity. Yeah, I would just say to my Republican colleagues, can we move forward uh, without President Trump? The answer is no. I've always liked Liz Cheney, but she's made a determination that the Republican Party can't can't grow with President Trump. I've determined we can't grow without him. All of these people like Herschel Walker and all the people you just named are attracted to the Trump Republican Party, economic populism. Uh, America first agenda. If you don't get that as a Republican, you're making the biggest mistake in the history of the Republican Party. The reason our party is growing with minorities and with working men and women is because President Trump appears to be on the side of people working really hard, appears to be on the side of opportunity, not dependency, because he is. No Republican has ever garnered more minority votes than Donald Trump in the history of America. No Republican has ever appealed to the middle class, to to hardworking, tax paying, God fearing Americans like Trump has. And Lindsey Graham is right; he's spot on. Uh, you know, you either get it or you don't. We're not going anywhere. And so Eddie Scary writes a great, great analysis of this at the Washington Examiner. Derek, let's post this at MikeOnline.com, what Liz Cheney doesn't understand. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this to you, and I want to dive into this. I want, a, I want a full-throated analysis of this right here, because this show is going gonna, is gonna to tackle this as we have head on. We're not going to avoid it. We're not going to try to ignore you. We're not going to be uh, ignored on behalf of this show, I want you to dive into this at 1-800-655-MIKE. I want to get this out on the table once and for all. I'm going to read some of the comments from Eddie Scary, and I want you to react to this. Here's what the Liz Cheney's of the world don't understand. I mean, Liz Cheney, he claims that she's become a self-promoting nag. You know, we get it. She's so brave. Yeah, we get it. Her op-ed that she wrote this week in the Washington Post is one long chew out of Republicans, haranguing them, 
to be brave enough to defend the basic principles that, that protect our freedom, our process, our democratic process. In essence, Eddie Scary writes, shut up about the election. And here's what the judge smales of the world, the country club Republicans, the establishment types, the 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 you know silk bathrobe wearing Republicans, Muffy and Buffy and Mitt and Liz. Here's what they don't understand. Republican voters. Republican voters, Eddie Scary writes, are still boiling in anger over the election. And justifiably so. Democrats and the media did their damnedest to make everyone miserable for four years because the 2016 election didn't go their way. Why is it incumbent on Republicans, Liz Cheney, to be gracious losers when they know with certainty, because the Democrats and the media spent four years demonstrating it, that the opposition would never do so? Here's a quote from former President Trump in a recent interview. There was a widespread understanding that this election was not on the level. We still don't know what really happened. There's just a lot I think will be revealed. History will discover. In that interview, Trump alleged shenanigans and stuff going on would lead a person to come across, to come away with an idea, whoa, something's not right here, unquote. Oh, wait, Eddie Scary says, my mistake. That wasn't Donald Trump. That was Hillary. Hillary Clinton said that right before the last election. To this day, Hillary Rodham Clinton maintains that the election she lost was illegitimate. She has literally called Trump an illegitimate president. So you know what, Liz Cheney, spare me your pearl clutching, okay? Why don't you take on Hillary Clinton, Liz Cheney, with the intensity that you've gone after Trump and, and Republican voters who are furious about the election. I'm sorry, I don't wanna get mad. It's Friday, it's Mother's Day weekend. I'm in a fantastic mood. We're in the relieffactor.com studios, Friday, May the 7th, 2021. Hope you are too. I wanna see what you make of this disconnect between Judge Smales and Liz Cheney and all the rest of them who can't believe that you have the temerity to believe something wasn't right about November 2020, what do you make of Eddie Scary saying Liz Cheney doesn't get or understand Republican voters? Eddie Scary says the 2020 election was unfair, but since when have Democrats fought fair? If calling it unfair or any other synonym for the word helps Republicans cope with the loss, that's a small price to pay. And the currency for it didn't run out just because Democrats are in power now. Cheney surely feels good and gets a nice pat on the head from the media for the constant lecturing of her own party. Maybe she's better off leaving if she doesn't understand its voters. Laura Ingram said that the other night. Is it too much to ask for Republican leadership to not hate Republican voters?